This is chapter one, gastrointestinal, and in this video we'll be discussing antiemetics. So antiemetic means anti-nausea or vomiting, and so the main neurotransmitters that are targeted with controlling nausea is dopamine, serotonin, histamine, and muscarinic receptors, which are in the parasympathetic nervous system. So we'll have four examples today in four different classes. So our example of an antihistamine is meclizine or dramamine. Our antidopaminergic agent is prochlorperazine, otherwise known as compazine. Our serotonin receptor antagonist is ondansetron or zofran. And our anticholinergic example is scopolamine or transderm scop. So now we'll go over some practice questions. So a medication commonly used with a prepotent to prevent chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting is, and we will have the same four answers throughout the rest of the video. So A will be meclizine, B will be scopolamine, C will be ondansetron, and D will be pro prochlorperazine. So the correct answer is C, ondansetron. So meclizine, scopolamine, and prochlorperazine are incorrect as they are not usually used to prevent chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Ondansetron is given um, with the highly emetogenic or moderately emetogenic chemotherapy agents to prevent nausea during and after the chemotherapy infusion. Depending on how much of a risk we have for the chemotherapy agent causing nausea and vomiting, or if it can cause the late onset nausea and vomiting can kind of dictate our therapy. So the three drugs we can also add on board to prevent either the chemo-induced nausea and vomiting or the delayed um, chemo-induced nausea and vomiting is um, a 5-HT3 receptor antagonist like on Danzatron, the aprepotent, or also a steroid like de dexamethasone. Okay, now we'll just change all of the practice questions, but keep the answers the same so that the question um, makes each answer correct. So question three, an antihistamine that is available over the counter is, so the correct answer is A, meclizine. B, scopolamine is available over the counter, but it is an anticholinergic agent. C and D, ondansetron and prochlorperazine both need prescriptions. So meclizine is an antihistamine, and it's often used for motion sickness and just generalized nausea. Practice question four. A patch used to prevent motion sickness that is placed behind the ear is, and the correct answer is B, scopolamine. Meclizine, ondansetron, and prochlorperazine, none of those have patch formulations. So scopolamine, it does have the patch formulation, and it's often used to prevent nausea, especially on cruise ships. So you place the, the patch behind your ear in advance of your trip, and it's pretty long acting as well, and it works good to prevent motion sickness before it happens. Practice question five, an antiemetic that causes extrapyramidal symptoms, or EPS, as a side effect. The correct answer is D, prochlorperazine. A, B, and C, meclizine, scopolamine, and ondansetron are incorrect because they don't have any extrapyramidal side effects associated with them. Meclizine is an antihistamine, so you can get some drowsiness, and it also has anticholinergic properties, so we can see potentially a dry mouth or constipation. Scopolamine is exclusively an anticholinergic agent, so we also think of the drying side effects like constipation and dry mouth. Ondansetron works to block serotonin, so some side effects could be headache or diarrhea. But pro prochlorperazine, as you will recall, is a dopamine blocker, and so the, um, the side effects will be similar to the antipsychotics that block dopamine, so it can have those extra pyramidal symptoms. So there's four symptoms associated with EPS. The first is dystonia, which is just um, tensing of the muscles in the neck or back. Akathisia, which is um, restlessness. Parkinsonism, which is tremor, rigidity, or slow movement. And then tardive dyskinesia, which is uncontrollable spasms of the face and tongue. 
Prochlorperazine is often used to treat nausea of unknown sources.